the thought. Sorry. You're supposed to rub off on me, Parker. <laughs> it's not supposed to work the other way. I got nothing. You got nothing? Right. Big Seal fan myself. Seals? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You like Kiss by a Rose? Yes. Love that song. <laughs> I knew you were going to go. <laughs> I, knew I knew that's what you were waiting <laughs> for. <laughs> uh, the cast range talent is also insane on Keeper of the Light. Level 15, 350 range. If you get a, a sight of ice on that hero. It's true. Really dope. Really dope. Manalik is still kind of, eh. But I'm glad it's me. Yeah. Because yep. cause Manalik was a terrible spell. It was. It, it was, it, it was, was f- bad for Dota. It was just boring. Like, it just yeah. sucked to play. Like, you'd use it sometimes. It's kind of like, well, this is completely worthless. I'm just going to die. And then other times, you're trying to siege the high ground or something. Oh, mana leak. Let me just stand here for eight seconds, guys. Oh, it's off cooldown again. Great. Who thought a uh, who thought a low cooldown mana rupture was a good <laughs> idea? <laughs> I think it was like, like oh, like, rupture's, rupture's a cool ulti- spell. <laughs> yeah, rupture's Let's- an ultimate ability. And as, uh, you know, like, he's on a hero that's, like, very interesting and, like, very specific and what he does. Like, yeah. let's just make mana rupture a thing. Like, hey. yeah. Cause it, what was it before that? It used to be a different spell or... I can't remember. I feel like Carl always had... Yeah, there used to be... Oh, the, uh, the, there was a little... Well, that used to be the ultimate, right? The little wispy things? That's like really yeah. old. Maybe he used to have old. a buff that he gave to people that was uh, damage and mana. That's maybe what it was. Okay. Pretty sure that's it's definitely here that's had some reworks. Maybe at least going back to like Dota yeah. One. God, I hate Life Stealer. It's weird into Tree, isn't it? You kind of have to yeah. buy Manta against Treant, otherwise you're gonna get rooted during your rage. Yeah. I like the. I mean, their lanes are strong. I love the. I love the Bristle pick because there actually isn't anything to deal with him. The feast damage is nice against him, but you just run in. And you have a tree behind yeah. you. You have a coddle. Like this is what makes these huge team fight heroes that are supports really effective. Because they're not threatened, and they can cast their spells like later into a fight, and that's. that's I will. I will for. say that I I played this, this matchup uh, last night. I lost us the game because of it. The bristle. Uh, honestly, I was, pretty, I was pretty tilted, but uh, no bristle back into undying. Oh. And like, um, part of the problem is is that you actually don't have the most strength in the world, as bristle back. What's just really good is you have this reduction. Right, but your your stats aren't that amazing. So decay is like very effective against your hero when you're a bristleback that's sitting at like 400 health total. It doesn't feel real good. Uh, but that that point pertains into the shadow demon, the soul catcher, and the percentage based damage against bristleback can be really effective. Yeah, it's just I really like. Bristle here because it's a natural solar crest fire. I'm not a fan of the Wind Ranger pick. Shout out to Sir Action Slacks. It can, it's just very weak against Shadow Demon, in my opinion, because you land a shackle or you try and ult somebody down. They just, they just get put under. Or, you get purged. Yeah, and Kunkka Boat also removed. Like, Wind Ranger is all about yes. keeping a hero. Like, you ult somebody and they're out of the fight now, but if they're rum buffed, they can usually just tank it. And these mi- strength, like, this is a very durable lineup. You don't have a ton of mobility. Against the Kunkka either. Kunkka just feels good of. against Wind Ranger. You've got catch, yeah. like, Wind, Wind Run doesn't help you escape. You can just cleaver in lane, like, you can't dodge. You just cleaves. Do, uh... oh. I love the Lesh. Yeah. It's just tower damage was, was missing. You've got a setup now for the SD. Like, it's actually perfect. Because uh, you, you kill tree armor, you kill towers, tree ent. It's like we've already had this discussion about how Jakiro is kind of good against Tree because you remove the armor, but the concept of trying to slow siege a tower doesn't work against Treant. Leshrac just zergs it down, and that's ideal because you don't have that time to recover and uh, defend and heal it back up. I like his uh, his Treant set. He's got the little buddies on top of his head. I didn't know, even know that was a set. Yeah. That's, that's uh, cool. I think that's from last year's. Very uh, Miyazaki-esque, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Beginning to sound like a King of the Hill episode. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah. Twitch, I was just trying to check in. Yes, that is a huge turtle. Chat is impressed, and I think that that's important <laughs> to state. 
<laughs> it was a worthwhile endeavor <laughs> getting the turtle up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All you right. know, funny enough, Kyle uses the same strategy on Tinder too. What? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Just really promising about you know <laughs> how oh. big it's gonna be. <laughs> Look, the secret to life, my strategy, is to underpromise and overdeliver. All right. I thought you were going the opposite direction with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, didn't weren't you kind of yeah. overpromising? <laughs> no, 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 no. I I I I set the bar really low, okay. really low. <laughs> what? It's great. Look. Well, you didn't set the bar low for the turtle, so I I know it. But that's because the turtle was an absolute unit. Mm. I knew that that was going to be impressive. It's mm. it's insane. I've got more like that. If you like that turtle, make <laughs> sure tweet it at Beyond the Summit. Slide into Put Kyle's in GMs. He'll send you some. Just pics. tell me what your favorite animals are in Twitch, and we will find you some clips of them <laughs> in action. Just just follow this dude. He'll he'll turn his Twitter account into an animal fan account. I'm probably the turtle fanboy. Whatever. Kyle to, will to, send you the biggest units you can find. <laughs> 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 just yeah, slip into Kyle's DMs. He'll he'll send you some turtle pics. Hopefully the right kind of turtle pics. That'd be a really wholesome thing. If like if I just started messaging random fans pictures of animals. I'm just like, hey, it's your turn today. Pay it forwards. And then all the and you start this global movement. Everyone's just sending animal <laughs> pictures. Kyle's well, trying to figure out the best way to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you sent someone who had a traumatic turtle experience, and they don't enjoy your turtle, Kyle. <laughs> They're like missing a thumb from a <laughs> snapping turtle. <laughs> Dude, have you seen the inside of a snapping turtle's mouth? Yes. It's got like eel-like jaws. So it's got the beak thing, uh -huh. and then there's teeth like in its throat. Uh -huh. It's wild. Jeez. Yeah. Animals are crazy, dude. Thank That's God what I'm the dog talking about, are dead. baby. The quelling blades. Double quelling bladed up. Screw Double. tree and protector. Yeah, they brought Kunkka up here with a quelling blade. Oh, nice. Kezu Lesh chopping with the down quelling trees blade. together. Nice. Oh, he gets revealed. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, he knows up here. <laughs> the battle begins. Oh. Chop all those trees down and have a better time because of it. Down bottom, it's going to be. Toby's bristle with the coddle. Coddle bristle. That's a throwback. Haven't seen that in a while. Love it still. It's actually better now because you can spine immediately get another spine off. Double snot too. But uh, bristle, this is why the diffusal gyro that Thompson pulled out at TI was so good because you, when you have those full stacks up when you're spamming Q and W, it's like plus 200 something damage. If you have no mana, you're effectively just a tanky creep, and you are not threatening whatsoever. Wasn't it better before? Maybe. Because it would get the low cooldown guarantee, so you could double cast it instantly, but now if Look. you'd say accidentally cast it when his cooldown is one second from being off or is actually up, then you're not going to get the cooldown. I was like hovering this skill, I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> this spell work? I was, I was thinking that. I was, I was like, maybe gave Scott. more mana before or something? That's what I, my head was going through. I was like, okay. I'm just like, I'll take Cal's word for it. I don't want to sound like an <laughs> idiot here. <laughs> I mean, it's, yes, it's still really good. You are Better right. is... <laughs> I wouldn't even say subjective. <laughs> I would say objectively not right, but yes. I may it's been better wrong. the fact that Chakra Magic now has a double use, which you can use it to mana leak. Yep. It costs... Oh, it costs the same amount of mana to use? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't say. E it's, uh, oh, sorry, it's, it's mana-less. It's oh, yeah, no mana. Of course. Yeah. I've not played any Coddle in a long, long time, let me tell you. Yeah. You should try it. It's a, such a fun hero now if you use Blinding Light. Forget about this whole Illuminate thing. Yeah. I don't. I think that spell's still underrated. Miss mechanics, Blind, um, are still really strong because MKB got nerfed. And I know Maelstrom, obviously, you can't miss on the proc any longer. But it's really annoying that you can't ever truly deal with Evasion. It's also part of the reason we see Butterfly picked yeah. up a lot of the times. The cast range is insane. Yeah. The the more you level it, it goes up to 800. Then you get your 350 cast range talent at level 15. It does damage now. It actually does a decent nuke damage. It goes up to 200. Oh, the Chakra helped him get that range creep. And Toby, losing a lot of strength here. Oh. 
Nice attempt at the push. Yeah. Double damage, Wind Rangers should have uh, an edge now in this mid lane. Up until now, it's been pretty even. Wave coming Wish's way, though, so he's going to pull ahead on CS at this point. And poor Trine. He's punching, but he's not really got many trees to play around up here. Oh, this is a really rough situation to be in, especially when you have no boots. This Trient, slowest hero in Dota 2. And he's got an Orb of Venom, but that doesn't really help you stay on a target that you can't actually touch the first time. And the Keizu's Lash, that's one of those heroes he does understand quite well. You know what it is? Han players, Han heroes. You can always trust them. That's just how it goes. I don't think there's a single ex-Han pro that's got a bad Lesh rack. Okay. Four mangoes on EGM. That's a lot. I'm surprised he's not just going for a Disrupt like right now. That's Could've a had lot it. of mangoes, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. This know. is uh, I, what the hell was Gyrocopter doing? I have no idea. Is he just dead? Did he get level two edict off? I think he did. Yes. One more poison should be the kill. I don't even think he needs another poison, but yeah. Good okay. lord. Yeah. I, I mean, poison. he was giving it to them for a while. Maybe he was like, oh, you know, he hasn't cast it on me yet. But he actually let they get level three and then immediately go, and he's just in range. Tree and nowhere in sight. Very odd. Toby in trouble here. <laughs> That's because he's invisible, Kyle. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he's nowhere in sight. Oh, you're so dumb. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> nice disrupt. He juked the uh, rocket. Don't know if he's going to get the kill on tree for this, though. Keizu now has got to back away. Maybe. Nope. Two points in the edict if he hits this stun. But no. in this. He lost vision. Do you think there should be an item that lets you see invis things? Like, just you, though. Uh, like, goggles. Infrared goggles. 400, uh, wonky. like, 1,700 gold. It takes... One life or all game? Like, it can't go away. Um, you have to activate them. Think like Cyclops. Okay. So they're an active ability. Maybe they work for, like, 10 seconds every 30. Kind of like don't see wards, uh, just invis heroes. Huh? Because there's nothing that provides vision of just the. But heroes, your teammates you know? can't attack. Like your teammates won't see them if you use it, or does your whole team get vision of them? I'm confused. Kyle's still figuring sounds out the kinks here. <laughs> 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 He's working out. Look, I'm just ro I'm making know, this sounds, up as I go. Sounds dubious. Dubious. That's a great word. It's a good sounding word. Yeah. My favorite word is indubitably, which if you're ever win, like thinking, oh, what do I say? We're filling time. It literally works at any moment in the broadcast. Indubitably. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Kyle, which team is going to win? Uh, indubitably. <laughs> uh, what? It doesn't Kyle? work. <laughs> you got to fill Hello? the sentence all right. Hey, it's if you're filling. Now you're asked a direct question. That's different. However, I do typically would, so, Kyle. it would work for me because I'm not answering direct questions most of the time anyway. <laughs> also, this top lane is a utter disaster for our dire boys, and the tips are even right. coming out. EGM, they confident. Know. And yeah, it's great that Bristleback and uh, Coddle are getting 100% CS or whatever, but so is the Life Stealer. And Life Seal is getting solo experience off of it. In fact, he's even getting more than 100% of the CS because he's even pulling over to the neutral camp. Whoa. Mid lane. Yep. Oh, missed the shackle. Oh. Yep, missed the shackle. There's going to be a boat, so he's going to get that rum buff soon. And with the torrent landing, yep. he might be okay. Power shot's not going to do enough damage, so yeah, he'll survive yep. through it. You see what I mean, right? This is this is going to happen all game with this core Wind Ranger. You just don't... Like, even with an advantage in the lane, yep. he had, what, 15 seconds of ultimate? It's just not enough damage. I was with the javelin too. He didn't even have a chainmail up yet. Like he had no items, just a bracer. Good old mana leak. Oh. What do you mean, good old mana leak? He doesn't have mana. Radiance Does it's just not called mana leak? But yes. He used chakra magic on Shibe. Shibe? Yeah, Shibe? It's chakra. What do you mean? Yeah. It's always been chakra. I mean, it used to be called mana leak. I'm. I'm Describing the effect as mono cast. But it's what? Never mind. It's, I'm so confused. It's, it's, this is Kyle, up here, do you know there's an here. offensive use for chakra magic? 
Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do some learning to it too. <laughs> Chakra magic. Ability. Unit target. Effect. So how much do I have any points lately, Kyle? <laughs> Restores mana to the target <laughs> unit and reduces cooldown of all abilities currently on cooldown by a fixed amount. Can be cast on enemy, placing a debuff that drains of current mana per 100 units moved. Kyle, Kyle, I talked about it two different times. You had your whole chakra <laughs> magic is even better now for Bristleback, and I explained why it was the same. And then I said, and I tried to credit you by saying. <laughs> But it is better in the way that it, it has an offensive use now. I've pl I played Kyle like three days ago. I never, I never clicked it. I never clicked it on anybody. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Kyle, well, it's a no mana spell. Look, hey, just remember, uh -huh. I'm one of the ten thousand. You know, I learned something new today. A lot of viewers may maybe learn something today too, and I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I'm not ashamed <laughs> to, you to correct ashamed. my ignorance. <laughs> you should be ashamed, Kyle. This is your job, Kyle. <laughs> no, it's, we're at the start of the DPC season. You, you, he's, got, he's got time yeah. to uh, training up his wheels. game. Case <laughs> <laughs> uh, is in trouble. Or uh. not. Oh, my God. There's so much heal. Level 2 soul rip, man. That's crazy. Nine units, 29 heal. Yeah. Here comes Wind Ranger though, and with the, the Javelin. And Kezu might be dead too. He was going for the tree and misses the sun on the Gyrocopter. He's still looking to turn uh, five. He's going to oh, get a kill. Okay. Oh, there we go. Man moded. Take, we take those. Yeah. Kezu? Soul Rip's a crazy good spell now, by the yeah. way. They just keep on buffing it over and over and over again. The latest buff means that it needs even less units. Yep. Which uh, it's such a nice quality of life change because yeah. you would never uh, now whenever you're around like creep waves, then you're gonna get a full soul rip off and it's massive damage. Yeah, and it. Uh, That's why I got dumpstered by in the Bristleback versus Undying matchup. I didn't have a coddle to dual lane and creep creep skip. I was just a 400 <laughs> HP Bristleback getting nailed by like 250 damage soul rips. It didn't feel good. Like, look at that, though. Keizu just, he respawns, and immediately he goes mid. This is what I mean. When, when Keizu's on a hero, and he understands his role, right? He, he fights top, man modes, gets a kill. Immediately he goes to take the most valuable tower on the map. Immediately after respawning, and now he just runs back top to link with his team. And he's just really good. And he's also, this is hot than hot players do, you never level your ultimate at level 12. You keep it level 1 until you have at least, like, your third item. You don't have the mana to farm with it unless you keep it at a lower level. Tell me more about these wonderful Han players, Kyle. Well, Chessy is also a Han player. Arguably was the greatest Han player of all time. Uh, he was a LAN winner on two different roles. Uh, it was famous for his Zephyr, which is unfortunately not a hero in Dota. Oh, it's the owl, right? Yes, the bird. The bird is the, the word. Yeah. Dota needs more owls. Tree Protector used to be able to summon owls in Dota. That was a really fun spell. Yeah. They'd hide invis, and then they'd, whenever you walk near them, they'd shoot these little stun missiles at you. That, uh... That doesn't work, Charlie. No, no it does not. Yeah, you yeah. no, forced overgrowth out of them. Yeah. This is one of the ways that uh, Wind Ranger is an excellent hero against Lifestealer, because there's just nothing you can do as Charlie in this game, and it forces him to itemize as he is. He's going Midas into Armlet. He's got to go for, like, the Halberd or AC route, because getting a Radiance against Wind Ranger just won't cut it. And a, oh god, the ship. Eat it. That's level 4x, that cast range. Catching and up. the gyro's dead too. Nope. Pickups everywhere. Yep. Bottom, mid, top, one going the way of uh, 683. I love this concept. When you have uh, heroes like Kunkka Lesh, they're effectively, they, they just represent kills if you play around them. You need one other hero and somebody's dead. And now that Keizu, he has a, an Atos already. It's like with 800 gold to boot. I'd like to see him just pick up Arcane so he can keep scaling, but he's doing quite well. He's, yeah, he might. He's got the Grief queued up, so could pick up the Arcanes and start working on it. He's been playing really well this game. I mean, this whole series, he's looked good. Go. Who's your most underrated player right now? Like, who are you waiting to see shine this season? Uh, 
that's a tough one. Uh, looking through a lot of the lineups. Maybe um, Moon? Yeah. Nana? Yeah. Not Moon Meander. Well, I mean, I don't think Moon Meander is bad, right? I mean, I'm talking about Nana. Mane Maneski mid. Mm. I, I'm surprised. Uh, I was talking with people, but I think EG. I, I think Moon's better than Abed. I was really surprised that EG picked him up. But what do I know? I, I think Moon's. I agree. He's super underrated. He's always been solid as well. He doesn't choke on land, strong laner, very versatile. Interesting to see how the, some of those new teams do. New Fnatic, yeah. I'm trying to think, what other, what other players did I say? I don't know. He didn't say any other players. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm trying to think who else I would say. Who, who would you say, Kyle? I honestly, okay. I'm going to speak in for Kyle here. I honestly can't think of a whole lot of players. Like, uh, <laughs> much of the season for me has like, been about who's going to fail. It hasn't actually been like who's going to turn up. It's been more about, like, which one of these guys new to the offlane role is going to be bad? Which one of these guys who, like, are coming back into things, maybe didn't look so good last year, are going to make their comeback? Or are they going to, you know, tur go from a Tier 1 player to a Tier 2 player? It, you know, it's like, for example, Snake King going to look as good yeah. on offlane on, uh, on a different team where he was the best player for that team for most of the season. Uh, we got a big team fight. Who's the it's cap? <laughs> Kyle's like panic. Somebody cast. <laughs> I got <laughs> say a name. All right, I'll take over the play-by-play, -play, guys. <laughs> after this fight ends. All right. Well, Toby's losing his strength. He's being decayed. <laughs> the fight <up>. isn't <laughs> over, Kyle. I said after this one, I'll do the next one. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And this, Sorry, this I, one's I, over I, already. I misunderstood what you were saying. I've been no, practicing. One kill. You'll that see. wasn't team fight. <laughs> I mean, it kind of was. But. A lot of spells used. The old Will O Wisp. Last track, Kezu putting his name on the board again. 4 1 and 5 for Kezu being X back. Pull back in, and it's a bounty. Yeah, that's what they're doing this for the bounty runes. Here comes the next fight, Kyle. Oh, hang on. I'm ready, I'm ready. Here they go. Fight's going to break out. They get the disruption off along with the Soul Catcher. Will it be the follow up with the question? Already, Bristleback at half HP. He's going to tank the Atos. The boat coming through as well. He gets popped up into the air. He's going to go down because there's no Coddle Hold. The blinding light a bit late. Rune spawn, though, 15 minutes. It looks like it'll be a two for two trade. However, Toby is down and dusted for 30 more seconds. As God said, up 1-0 in the series, take a 2K gold lead and look to rotate towards middle. Maybe even thinking about tier twos. And Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Send, send the scene, you know, for the next thing, the next action to happen as well. Oh, uh, no, that's it. Oh, that's all you got. That's it. That's all I got. Yep. Oh. Oh. All right, hang on. Hang on. Another disrupt coming out. Will it be enough as a question? The purge comes out on the tree of protector. He is almost certainly going to go down. The blinding light once again buys him a bit of time. We'll get the invis off. Do they got dust? Yes, they do, but it's out of range. EGM, you got to get closer. But he did not have the eighth lens, which does increase the AoE of dust. Or does it? Do you know? <laughs> I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even going to address that one, Kyle. <laughs> That's beneath notice, Kyle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> also, I'm sure it doesn't, it does right? Not. There's zero <laughs> There's chance. There's no way that, that, that could be a thing, right? That is 100% no. <laughs> I, You're gonna I would not even consider at the 1% doubt in saying no to that one. Well, that's very Does it increase the range at which you can give clarities and healing selves? Because it increases I the range at which you could place wards. Yes. I would assume so. So yes. I would assume so, I mean, right? it's, a, it's like you're clicking a unit to use it. Yeah. Chess is going to finish a Radiance, by the way. This is a sick item on Kanka, and I love that decision because, and this is also even more reason why Charlie's item build's nice here, because you want your Life Sealer, he has two primary item builds. I'd argue this is like his max efficiency in the sense that you scale more linearly. Kanka, your ideal build is a Bracer, Phase Boots, and Radiance. Like, that's why you would scale. You don't want to be going the Armlet AC on the Kanka when you have a Life Sealer. I guess it's just better hero item pairing. Here comes 683. They want to fight. They want to finish Tower. Oh. Great shackle on the two with the Will of His follow up. They're going to pull him on in. He needs to get this rage off. He's going to turn and look to fight. He goes on the cuddle. Charlie's got no backup. They've been rooted in the back lines here. Treant just keeping everyone in place. Charlie does kill off one, but he's now found a creep to infest into. Great play from the Lysel. He's going to keep himself safe because of it. Toby on the bristle goes down, and they've just killed three. It looked like Charlie was going to get himself screwed there, but with the infest, he had an escape. I feel like that was. Uh I don't know, there's just so, such a weird play by Antona. Like, he did a great job chaining the Shackle shot. 
but you don't want to blow your blinding light right away. Right? Like, if the most of the time, everyone's going to try and run out of the ball. It's yeah. almost always the play. But sometimes they'll focus it. But you have to wait until they actually try and make the play to go for the ball to push them to the outer ages and push that that uh, miss percentage chance. Otherwise, you want to push people deeper into it. Oh, BKB popped a win right there. Yeah. Hey, wow. Just because of the X. It's a really fast BKB. It's 17 and a half minutes in. He's 4 0 with 100. He has 150 CS? It's it unfortunate his team is getting absolutely crushed, but a performance for the ages by Wish. Really for the ages. One of his heroes. We're going to be talking about this <laughs> <laughs> five years <laughs> down the line. <laughs> Remember that Wish game on Wind Ranger. <laughs> This guy, I, I know him. He's a big Tinker spammer, I remember, from uh, seeing 6A3 during, like, TI, TI qualifiers. You shouldn't have included that fact, God. <laughs> <It'll> <laughs> Suddenly, anyone who was thinking of becoming a fan is <laughs> like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no longer. <laughs> yeah, in, in my head, you, you said Tinker player, and I heard scum. <laughs> hey, the hero, uh, Tinker, uh, so annoying still. It's, it's, it's one of those concepts that's always going to be... It, it, it can't be a balanced hero. It's not possible because the way you you can reuse your items. You can teleport around the map, push lanes, and be in, it, you know I'm not gonna explain how Tinker works. Although there might be some viewers that don't understand. <laughs> explain how chakra <laughs> magic works, Kyle. Oh, are you, are you did sure you know? that's how Tinker still works, Kyle? Yes, Have I am. You, okay. Did okay. you, you know? know about the secondary ability of rearm, right? <laughs> there isn't one. You can't fool me. <laughs> you know that X and Soul Rip can both be used on allies, along with Disruption. It's very, very interesting. Content with three heroes that have those mixed abilities. BKB popped on Wish. I think he's just going to kill Casey here, there but there's so much sustain. Oh, they both. need that run, but it comes oh, in too late. beautiful. Oh. Charlie's going to kill the ball and turn on Toby. Doesn't look like they want to try and fight this life slur right now. Overgrowth is available, but they're not going to go for it. Th so. This is also, can we check the Bristleback's items real fast? Because I'm sorry, these are really bad. Yes. Where is the Solar Crest? They yes. do not have a medallion. Yes. And we've got a hood and a blade mail on my boy, the Bristle. That is less armor than a medallion. There's no evasion. Where's the Solar Crest? OG, oh, they win TI. What does the Bristle have? That's right, a Solar Crest. I know it got crash, nerfed, but it's still crash. the builds. It's what is going on here? <laughs> There's <laughs> no offensive capabilities. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's kind of like until proven otherwise, it, it feels like it still should be the build, even with nerfs. I guess, I mean, Blade Mail, he's thinking uncontrollable damage coming in from Leshrac, even Kunkka to a large extent, but it doesn't feel like it, a game changer. <laughs> it's so weird when I see offlaners uh, itemize not for the safe lane hero that they've been laning against, you know? Like, how does he just, like, kind of forget that Lifestealer is going to be a really big threat in this game? He got total free farm. Like, why is he over-worrying about the magic damage yeah. of, of uh, uh, literally Leshrac? Leshrac and, yeah. And, and yeah. Combo. It's oh. a Leshrac that's just being hunted by Wish with his BKB in most of these fights. Kezu. They're trying so hard to keep yeah. alive. They've got Disruption. They could even Soul Rip him as well, and now Shrining up is 6 a 3 They've lost two, they're buying back on the Cuddle. This could very quickly and easily be a dieback here. X going to pull back in Chessie, who just TP'd home mid-fight to pick up a BKB, I believe. And they are hunting, looking for more. Another X from Chessie is available. He's just kind of out of range. He's still chasing Toby. Doesn't look like he's going to get the catch, though. Great fight for him. God sent nonetheless. They did lose the Cut the creep wave. Come on, bro. Cut the creep wave. You lose a fight, cut the creep wave. Probably, maybe scary. He doesn't buy back. Cuddle. Yeah, so now that we're paused, um, uh, production, oh, animals. God. I <laughs> believe I, I. Well, no, I didn't send the photos. Hang on. We're not in minus mode anymore. Kyle. Next one. Like, next one. Next one. This is a different it's kind a of show. It's a pause. Dude, did you see what happened in our pauses back there? This is tame. <laughs> no, I did not watch <laughs> any of minus mode. Well, Cap, it's good to wow. know you support your friends. <laughs> I uh, I would have it up. I would have the stream up, and I would have it muted. <laughs> and, and I didn't minimize. watch a single game. Well, I can accept that. I uh, I don't watch Dota. That's not, you know, actually going to help me with my job. Oh, because otherwise, you know, it's just too much. I'd rather be playing Dota. 
I need to. I haven't been able to much. I don't have a computer most of the time. <laughs> yes, and you're no mad lifestyle. <laughs> I imagine it's hard. Oh, hang on. This is also going to be hard. The best bike to survive. Easy. Pops the blade value. He's already dead. Yeah, he's guaranteed. With an Aegis on Charlie, I don't think 6A3 have any interest in really fighting right now. And they're trapped in their base. Anyone who leaves gets spotted by these Observer Wards. And there's just constant regen with this XTP. Oh, and look, level one Leshrac ultimate. He knows. He knows. That's what you do, guys. Look at the way it scales. An extra 20 mana for activation and 20 per second. That means if you use it for four seconds, it's 100 extra mana. That's a lot. Do you like his item build, by the way? I do. The uh, This tanky approach yeah. to Leshrac as opposed to the uh, very all, mobile build. All you need, if you're an, a mid player, I think you can be more of that hyper carry and play mobile style. If you're an off laner, you, you deal damage because of your spells. The longer you're alive in a fight, the better your hero looks. And that just means more mana, more health. That's it. Get tanky, get some sustain items. That's why the new Atos is so good on Lesh. It's turned out particularly well against his biggest threat, which is the Wind Ranger, too. He's picked up a Ghost Scepter now, so he has a second form of survival. Blade Melling up is the Bristleback, trying to keep himself alive and also return some of that damage on the Kezu. They've already lost the Coddle. Chessy with his BKB can't really be dealt with. Overgrowth delaying the Onslaught as Charlie's still looking to go charging on in. Has an Aegis still at his disposal as Triant will maybe keep himself alive with that nice Split Earth dodge, but it does feel... Almost inevitable as 6A3 are just being pushed further and further back in their base. Aegis is going to pop, but that's just going to signal them to slightly reposition back off, take the racks, and maybe go for shrines here. Or no, they're going to yeah, get the full two racks yeah. here. Edict, man. It's absolutely yeah. insane how strong that item is. This is such a great draft from Godsend. I like the way this is set up. The supports are so strong. They've got they've got two different types of save, right? You've got heal, and then you've got a combo breaker. Really strong lanes. Plenty of catch on their cores. Now a blink dagger picked up by Chessy. I like it. When you have BKB and Radiance, oh, yeah. you're already farmed enough. Now you just got to close out the game, find that final kill. I just love how they're using their map control. Like they've got this vision up, and they're not leaving this area. Usually, like you've got to go back at some point for items, but they're just constantly XTPing. Chessy even brings extra wards out for his team uh, when he goes back to base as well. So. Anyone who leaves the base, instantly picked off. They're just not giving 683 any room to breathe. Nowadays, like, uh, I feel like the, the hot thing right now is just um, never, never leaving your offensive position, never leaving your vision, always playing on top of your vision, and sending people to just go cut creep waves. Never go back and push in a lane. Just go run up to the top lane, grab that uh, wave that spawns and pull it into your hips, you know, just that way you can sit on top of your vision still. That way you can keep the enemy locked inside. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. BKB not going to be popped. He got hit by a torrent coming out. He is very low with the BKB on. He's trying to go for some of these kills, but a couple of right clicks from this life so could spell his demise. Wish tries to juke his way out of it, but Jibby is going to end up getting the kill. Gyrocopter with BKB trying to bring down EGM on the Shadow Demon, who did not have a disruption up in time, but they've lost three in the process. EGM will happily buy back for the GG. Four dead, about to be five. Uh, detection, no. GG. GG, 2 0. God sent. Convincing win. 6 8 3. Probably not going to go fire on those qualifiers, but obviously doing well to get through the opens. We'll see if they can turn it around nonetheless, but not looking like one of the hot favorites by any means. Toby has <laughs> such a questionable build. It's Why rare. Is he complete build. Purpose I don't know. If, yeah. you, if you cared about the magic damage, why wouldn't you just go with a full pipe? Why, why, where's the medallion? Where's Dude, the halberd? I, Blade Mills and I met maybe feels better when you're like ahead. When you're like behind, yeah. you have items. You only had 1500 it, health. How much exactly. damage are you returning? It, it's a really good point. Like you'll see specters sometimes pick it up as like a third item, right? The radiance heart. Okay, I'll buy a blade mail yeah. because. You're now not only difficult to kill, but you're like you can't even be targeted because you're just gonna kill everybody. And I, I hate when I watch specifically strength based survivability offlaners, right? You need to buy items that are dual threat, right? Halberd is a great example. Mm -hmm. Solar Crest is a great example. You become tankier, but you have offensive capabilities. You'll farm faster. You can help your teammates deal more damage. If you only get defense and all of a sudden you die, well, that's it. Your game's done, and you're yep. gonna fall the f off the off the cliff, 
That's why Atos is great on Leshrac, sim similar purpose, where it provides a ton of survivability and raw stats. It also gives you an active ability. It's it's like the it's perfect. And that's perfect. it. That's, that's all we've it. got, that's guys. Two two. We'll have another oh series soon. Oh, good. Who's up next, <laughs> Kyle? Uh, that would be. Um, let me just check my memory. It's gonna Ooh, be. It's a spicy one. Is it? What is it? Ad Finnum versus Alliance. All right, another 2-0 upcoming, but don't go anywhere. For who, though? That's the question. Ooh. So tune in to find out who is going to 2-0. Ooh. Ooh.